Yo guys, welcome back to another beat for from video and today we are actually in Pop 21 for another career one episode. There was a bit of a break for this, but I'm just gonna get it out today. The next race after this will be in Singapore, and I will not be using a special event for Singapore because I actually want to use an original one. So we will only be having that special event Zangwood, which was last race, and which we won as well. So we're on a two-race streak as of right now with Grand Slams. You can see Lewis Hamilton here. You can see my my stats, which are really nice. And now let's just go on to the Italian Grand Prix. And something excited, something to tell you guys. Um, for this race, I will be using the ultra low graphic option. I don't know. Actually, I'll just be using like the competitive settings. I don't know why. Um, but here's the thing. Just for one race, uh, because I just did a League race, I mean multiplayer race just earlier on, and I forgot to change uh, graphic settings, and I mean, realized it was too late. So why not just race like this? And the camera setting for this race will be a one-off because it's my competitive camera settings, just to make me go faster. And I'll be going actually to the default camera, T pod, for Singapore onwards. Okay, so here we are, and for the setup, I'll be using a default one. Here we go, just about saw a lap going to Parabolica. This is the camera settings, it's kind of nice though. And now I think we're going to the Red Bull now. So, DRS turned on, and look at that top speed, we are about 340 kph. Yep, there we go, 340 kph, breaking out into turn one. It just surprised me how quick the normal cars are, and how good they are in breaking compared to a road car. And you can see through here, through the area, we are really nice just sticking to the curve, but we got the white through there. We are still right now like faster than anyone else in the sector one. And with these corners, yeah, you, if, you, if you go on a sausage, guys, we're gonna be like flying, so just don't go on a sausage. Now, I just keep going later to the lab to inspire you, uh, there you go, through there, one of the corners. Now I'm going to take uh, to that corner there. Uh, now coming to Parabolica. Okay, right in the crash in 2019, it didn't practice or qualifying, it didn't qualify. Now we're going to be qualifying today, it's going to be KPS. I think we'll be on pole position, but a uh, decent amount of time ahead of everyone else. And not a pole position, third in a row. So, in the start of the season, I never knew we'll get pole positions. We haven't done any of to the car. Same in high level. Let's review the top three today. A Red Bull, Verstappen, look at a P1. And, and it's a Red Bull 1 2 for the start here. Really Verstappen will be starting P2 sure here. That's really good for the bit. It's time for the Italian Grand Prix once again. Here at the beloved and iconic Autodromo Nazionale di Monza. With the lowest downforce and drag of any circuit in the season, expect to see drivers making the most of the slipstream effect here today. We're 12 miles northeast of Milan for today's Grand Prix at a Monza circuit where we can expect top speeds of around 215 miles per hour. 11 corners on this 3.6 mile track, with seven of those coming in the form of chicanes. And with a good slipstream and DRS open, there should be plenty of opportunity for some passing here today. Now, Anthony Davidson, I wonder, might we be in for some early pit stops today from the midfield teams, all trying to put some pressure on or disrupting things for the leaders up front? If you're in the middle of the pack, you know, you've got your own race to run, I don't think they're going to be thinking about causing trouble up front. However, closer to the head of the pack, don't be surprised to see some split strategies. If you're running second and third, for example, bringing one car in for an undercut while leaving the other one out there longer can put a lot of pressure on the leader and maybe force them into an error. Let's run you through the driver grid order for today's exciting race. It's Red Bull in pole position then, edging out Max Verstappen, who'll start from P2. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Norris, Bottas, Lewis Hamilton and Leclerc, Ricardo, Sainz, Gasly and Fernando Alonso, Sonoda, Ocon, Sebastian Vettel and Stroll, 
Raikkonen, Giovinazzi, Mick Schumacher, and George Russell, Latifi, and Nikita Mazepin. And we are almost on the way at the Italian Grand Prix here. The Rebel 1 turn starts. Landon on speed through. Bottas and Hamilton P4 and 5 for Mercedes. And it's light like tact and away we go for another race here. And we first have fun to be able to use. We had a brilliant turn. Verstappen is actually might be losing out to Lando Norris here. Norris is up to P2. Verstappen down to P3. Down to Bottas up to P4. Hamilton has dropped down behind Leclerc for a quick second. But Leclerc actually stays ahead of Hamilton. And Verstappen is back into P2 ahead of Lando Norris now. This has been a brilliant battle now. So we are in the Rebel 1 2 once again. So we could get our first 1 2 of the season here. In Zan Ward, I won the Stappen's home race. And I don't think really the Stappen would really win. I think it would have been better for the Stappen to win for the championship terms. I mean, um, but other than that, now we're in the lead. Norris P3. Hamilton, like, he's dropped down behind below a Ferrari in 2021. That was the 2021 card. It's not 2022 card. So. You can't really expect Ferrari to be that quick. Ferrari very quick in 2021. And now to this corner here. There's an amazing chicane here. Like not really a chicane. Well, oh, we're going on the wide end. We're going on the gravel there. You make a mistake. And we, that was a crucial mistake. We're going to lose time there. Or kind of still stay ahead by a long distance at least. To Parapolica now. How did, the, how did we just hold that? We're going to be wide now. Like that was a really scrappy lap one there. So right now... Up to uh, speed there, so far so good. And uh, into lap two, uh, Hamilton is still not ahead of the clerk, he might be, who knows. Into the first corner, first turn, turn one, chicken basically. And we've gone on the sausage curve, let's put us right through there. And we've just gone a bit, we've hopped over the curve there. And both has a noise fighting for P3 here. Can like the noise get P3? And he's coming to the podium like he did in real life, except in real life he came P2. But for first second, we've gone faster in sector 1, obviously. Now, to this corner, we've nailed it completely. The tires are perfectly warmed up, at least for these corners. Now, to here, just smooth to the, just really smooth on the corners. Now, to this corner, we've actually, oh, that was a, that was almost a huge crash there. We had a bit of oversteer from the corner after we exited the corner. DRS2, uh, not DRS, actually just DRS2 here. And now uh, to this corner, uh, really quick to here, and one of the quickest corners, and more satisfying if you nailed it correctly. I not really did it, I just went wide just after almost finishing it. And right now, to Parabolica once again, about to enter lap 3. And we will definitely set the fastest lap because with my pace, I think we might be the fastest. Or not, who knows? Yep, we go faster, obviously. And right now, the clerk is P5. Right now, coming to turn 1 and back to turn 2. And if you don't know, this uh, weekend is a Baku Grand Prix. Tomorrow, basically, is a Baku Grand Prix. And last race, Monaco, Sergio, and Perez, and actually, and then just that will be in Sun's P2. Besides, it was not blocked by the back mark because you probably would win the And this will be a win again to Parabolica to lap by. I skipped it because nothing interesting really happened. We won in Spa. We won the Dutch Grand Prix. And we win the Italian Grand Prix in 2021 for the Midwest as we have won. We have won once again, giving us a grand slam. Superb driving. That's the race win. They make great use of the clear air today then and didn't allow anyone to exploit the slipstream behind them. What a great win here at Monza. Tell me, Ant, how did they manage to achieve this win? I really feel the track layout combined with the track temperatures we saw today suited their car. These cars come alive when the tyres are just at the right temperature and the driver did a great job managing that as well. They just look so comfortable out there. It's like anything, it always looks so easy when it all just clicks. Drivers are en route to the podium as we speak. What a fantastic win for the Red Bull team. They performed exceptionally today, keeping us firmly on the edge of our seats throughout the entirety of the race. Congratulations to every one of the team.
and finally we get a Rebel 1 C here. And B are leading the championship, so we might be able to win Drivers' Championship, at least by Singapore or in Brazil. That would be interesting. I don't know, guys. Thanks for watching this video. Second video for career mode. It's a Rebel 1 2 for this episode. Next episode will be the same as all for the Rebel 1 2 series. And guys, thanks for watching this video. Second video. Leave a like and subscribe. And thanks for watching this video. Second video. And hope you enjoyed this video. Second video. After an event like that, who knows what the sport has in store for us next time? Be sure to join us again as we continue to bring you the latest excitement in Formula One.